All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Huge episode for you today of the special one. We are playing Genk. We are 180 minutes away from getting into the Champions League, League group stage, which obviously means around, what, 20 million-ish? Touching 20 million quid, possibly. So the money, absolutely huge for the club. It completely changes the club's fortunes on its head. 180 minutes away. We've obviously done well in the last episode, beating Feyenoord. We've had a really weird game in between against Porto Menense, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but let's get into it. Come on, smash a like on today's video for me. Let me know down in the comments how we're going to get on over two legs. Let's get into the special one, the biggest episode so far. Alright boys, so since last episode we've actually only played like like one game, it's only been a week, week's rest between the two Champions League games. We've just played Porto Menense in the first league, league game of the season and we have won 6-3. Um, we were, th it was 1-0, one, 1-1, one nil, one, one, two, one, three, one. we then didn't pull a goal back to 70, 71st. Then Peony scored, no, so then Sagotta scored 75, then Peony 76, then Rudy Peony's again on 80 to score four, and Maya to score on 90. Maya even had a goal disallowed on 89 as well. Peony's got an average rating of 10. He got a perfect 10. Did he get any assists? No, he did actually. <sighs> Useless. Didn't get any assists in the game, but... He's in pretty good form. We did unfortunately pick up an injury. Robertinho, our right back, has just picked up a slight knock, so will not be playing. He may, he probably will be back for the second leg. I've had to make a choice here. Um, we have probably our best right back is our centre half. I didn't want to move him out. The other option was to move Picot in at right back and then play Norman Bailey in the midfield. And I thought, no, I don't want to do that. And then it was a mixture between Adilton, who was my centre half last year, and Pacheco, the club captain. And we've gone for Adilton. In there, says it's his best position. Time will tell if that's the case. Um, I'm not, I'm going to be totally honest, I don't know much about Genk. Belgian League, you would have thought they would be no, not as strong, not as strong. The best goalkeeper, the best player they've got is the goalkeeper in terms of value. Obviously very good. They've got Harry Suter. The centre forward is 31, but he's going to be at a handful. Jumping reach 20. He shit the bed. Jumping reach 20 and he's six foot seven. He's going to be a, a bit of a handful. So shall we just shall we just get into it? Shall we just get into it? I haven't played this game for five days, and then I've had to i I've had to wait from the Feyenoord game up until now, five days, to get this recorded and played. I've not thought about changing anything tactically. Especially how it worked out in the last game against Feyenoord. Both legs comfortable. I just, we're not in the mood for changing things. And look, if we lose today, we go into Europa League, which will still be massive for us financially and probably sees us having a better chance of progressing into sort of like a knockout stage. But it's Champions League, in it? We may not be here again with Setable. It's going to be difficult to sort of like get into the top three again this season. So, yeah, while we're here... Let's enjoy it, but let's put in a performance. First leg first. First leg first. Home leg first. Let's see if we could just do something magical. Right, so got a five minutes in. Chavez, a gear. Garay, Maya, Menino, good football. Popping it about, a gear. Picot. Back to a gear. It's a little bit tight. Or a guy comes out a little bit to find a little bit of space. Menino. Into Peonies. A Dilton. I'm a little bit worried they're just going to win it and break. But we've worked it really well. Revan is in. Cross. Nope. Yes, cross. Peonies has hit the post. Okay, good start. Good start. Peonies already getting a chance. We're still going here. Revan. Still going. Still going. Cross it. Corner ball. Good start though from the boys. 
Nerve, not nervous at all. Looks like it's a packed. I think we hold about fifteen thousand. So, ticket money, extra games. Even if it is Europa League, ticket money from extra games is vital. Prize money, vital. TV money, vital. It's got to completely transform what we can do. All right, both teams are down to ten men by the looks of it. We've crossed into Peonies and we are one nil up. I was too busy looking at. I think it was a Dilton on the side of the pitch who was struggling. He's just coming on injured. Going back on the pitch, he hopefully will be okay. Rudy Peonies, his fifth goal of the season. Maya, little cross. Peonies rising above two defenders in there. He wanted it more. Set a bull one nil up and a deserved lead. 63% possession, 37 obviously to them. They've not created much yet. I'm a little bit worried about balls into the box. I am going to do the change and take a Dilton off. Club captain Pachecho is on. Not great technically, but he'll be able to do a job for us. Having our right-sided defender as wing-back defend. So he's not necessarily having to get forward too much and contribute. So at the moment, it's a slender 1-0 lead. They've not created a, a, a meaningful chance or a highlight. I could do. We could do with another goal. Another goal to take us into their second leg away from home. Right, 20 minutes to go. So Gotta is really struggling. So we're going to take Sagotter off. We're going to put on Gonzalo Borges. And I'm also going to bring on Rossi the striker. Just to freshen it up. Two changes. Let's ask for a demand more because it's been a very quiet second half. I don't think we've even had a highlight. As we're coming into the last 10 minutes, we've had 25 shots. Obviously, a lot of them will be from distance. They've got a set piece, which is worrying. Oh, what a save, Thiago Pereira. What a save. Berg with the corner. Picot. This is the set piece is the only thing that may kill us because of the height advantage, especially the guy that's six foot seven for them. Right, Peonese is just going through and has been tackled. Minino blocked. It's just take no risks. Stoppage time. It's gonna be a slender one nil lead. Okay, we'll take that. Complete control. I'm happy. That we've dominated the game so much. Just show that we can probably go, fingers crossed, go to their place and get an away goal. Right, we've got a game in between. I've got a game against somebody in the league, Estoril Praia, in the league, who have just come up. So what I think I'm going to do is... As a, a risk? Well, it is a risk for a league game anyway. I'm going to rotate the squad as much as I possibly can. Give the boys a rest, a week's rest ahead of the second leg. Well, obviously, we're going to play that off camera and then we'll come back to you. All right, boys, we are back. We've played the league game against uh, Estoril Prior, whatever they're called, 3 0, with a very much changed side. The only players that started the game was Pereira. The two centre halves we started. We also started Norman Bailey because he's had to come in for the suspended Picot today, so we thought we'd give him some game time. Um, Maya played 45, bagged himself a brace, um, a very comprehensive 3-0 win with, what, eight of our normal sort of like starting players not playing. Robertinho's back as well, the first choice right back. Here we go, away goal, can we get that away goal? Put the pressure on early, pump fists, I know we're the underdogs, let's keep with the underdog tag, but we've absolutely battered these in the first leg, we battered Feyenoord. The only thing that's going to prevent us today is uh, the FM of all FMs and we completely bottle it. We completely bottle it. Okay, very cagey. First 10, 15 minutes. They've hit the bar. Set pieces. Harry Suter, I think, is a big player as well. Done a guy. Clipped in. Suter's there. Garay. Bailey. Chavez. A gear, so their only two chances have literally come from set pieces over the two legs so far. Robertinho, Menino, Garay, Robertinho slides a lovely ball into Menino down the right. He pulls it back. Goalkeeper just got there first. And it looks like this highlight is probably going to continue. They've gone long. A gear heads it down to Dora Garay. Robertinho, a gear. Click one forward. Peonies nods it nicely. I was going to say nicely to Maya, but. We're going again. Sagotta. Revan. Get that goal. Ooh. Sagotta. Sagotta. Maya. <laughs> big, big goal. 
15 minutes gone, Maya's seventh of the season already. We have an away goal, guys, and we are on our way to Champions League football. Holy shit. Right, let's praise it. Praising players, I do find praising players really helps in this year's game. Right, they've got to score three. Obviously not beyond them. Especially with the height advantage they've got over set pieces. We're not the biggest. Especially at centre-half. Right, here to go. Janssen's going to have a, a little spell. Chavez has just stepped in nicely. Bailey, Revan. Oh, Maya didn't get there first. That was a poor pass. We've got it back though. Garay stepping in as he does. Menino. The young Portuguese winger. Cross. Maya has volleyed it against the bar. It's still in play. Peonese has been tackled. And highlight over. Let's go for encourage. They're playing out from the back. Here we go. So far, we've isolated the big man pretty well. Robertone, Janssens. We get a tackle in, boys. Bailey, brilliant. Big Norman Bailey. Into Maya from Revant. Oh, we've missed it. Dodo guys missed it. Jimenez. Stop the cross. Stop the crosses. Kawame. Janssens. Peonese. Oh, slipped in. I was going to say Peonese was coming back to help out there. Ten minutes before half time, we just need to hold on a little bit here. Set piece over the bar. Everything that's coming there where he's from set pieces. Big chances. Highlight straight after the corner. Right, we're going out to Rubber Turney. Into Menino. Good run. Good run. We've got three in the box. Is he going to pick someone out? No. Highlight over. Tremendous. Revan. Throw. Oh, Menino was there. And now they're going to have a little break. Janssen's. Here he is, the big man. Robertone. Oh, Dora guy's nipped in. He's brilliant. So good at that. Bailey. He's getting edgy. Menino. Can we kill it? Menino strikes, saved by the goalkeeper, pats it down and picks up before anyone can get a rebound in. What's this highlight continuing again? Oh no, Jimenez. Stand, stand. Oh, he's gone through two or three tackles. He's managed to bobble his way through two or three tackles. A little bit of luck. A gear and oh, that was a wet tackle, Robertino. Maybe scared to scared to touch him in case there was a penalty, and they're right back in it. Right, just on half time. There's a corner. Not sure that I wanted a corner. I just wanted really half time to come in. Lovely ball out to Zagotta. Oh my word! Is that goal gonna count? It is. He's onside. What a strike that is, on his left foot. What a goal from Zagotta. Taking the corner to start with. Headed out by their big, their big centre forward. There a guy. Clips it in. And on the volley. What a strike. 2-1. They've now got to score three again. Right. Dressing room. Pump fists. Things are going well. We are capable of better. Can we defend a little bit better? Robert Tone. Set piece. Suter's there again. And it's gone over. He's big. Harry. Su Is it Harry Suter? Yeah. Six foot six he is. Half an hour to play. Let's have... I don't like doing four because we we'll say demand more. Demand more. Norman Bailey didn't like it, so got to work keen on it either. p and is doing a 6.5. Right, Dora Guy's struggling. Let's get him off. Let's get Fran on, the youngster. Bailey struggling as well. Have we got anyone else to go in there? A Dilta just go and sit in there for a few minutes as we are, what, a minute away from Champions League group stage football. Adilton, Sagotta, Revan, Peonies is in. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. He is human. There it is, boys. Full time. We have made it through. That is really special. Let's give him a little bit of that. Champions League football. We've done it. Money, money, money. Now, it's not going to mean we're going to be able to spend millions and millions, but it means for the foreseeable, and with money being so tight in Portugal, it does give us that domestic advantage now over so many other teams.
See, there we go, look. 13.93 million we've been given just for getting in to the group stage. Just for getting in. So there is our finances. 19 million in the bank. It has never looked so good. With the sell, with the sell of the youngster as well, um, the guy that never played for us, the guy that we sold for 7.5 million. A very, I'm going to give myself some credit. The transfer window was pretty clever. 275k in, uh, sorry, out. 7.5 million in has made a massive difference. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode will be the opening game of the Champions League. All right, next game will be the opening game of the Champions League. You'll find out who we've drawn. Patreons, your bonus episode will not only be the Famalicao game that is coming up next, but also you will see the draw before everyone else. Everyone else, though, if you're not, if you want to be a Patreon, links down below. You get one bonus video of either the special one or Basque or nothing every single week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a lot of love in the comments below. Champions League football, as I said, Sunday's episode. We'll start our campaign in Europe, probably against one of the big boys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.